Hi, welcome to a gorgeous afternoon in Chesterfield. It's very hot and muggy at the moment and we've got a potential of a few thunderstorms later tonight but uh, hopefully nothing too major. A couple of things I want to mention before we get uh, stuck into the video and the first one more importantly is that a couple of days ago I woke up and I had 2,000 subscribers. It's a target I've been going for for a long time so as a way of thank you to the subscribers in the next couple of weeks I'm going to drop a video out with a few gifts or rewards there's going to be a free giveaway for anybody that's subscribed to the channel, so keep an eye out for that. The other thing, if you're not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and check out some more videos. I've got a couple of things that I want to catch up on the pond. I'm going to give the window a clean, I'm going to give the back here shower a quick clean, and I've got a bit of uh, mind your own business that I'm going to put in place. And if I get a chance, I'm going to change the filters on the dechlorinators. That's the Viair three stage 20 inch dechlorinators. In the meantime, sit back and enjoy. You can see there the shower is plagued up a bit with algae, etc. And there's a couple of bald patches on the Mind Your Own Business. The only problem I've got is here. I seem to have a bee nest, a bee hive nest thing in the bird box. So I've got to try and do that. The bees there, and all I can say is just before I videoed this and before I noticed the bees were there, I got stung on my ear and on my forehead. So this is going to be very painful, very quick. This is what I bought off at eBay. It's supposed to be a nine centimetre pot of mind your own business. I've left it for a couple of days to soak in the other back of showers just so it opens up and looks a bit fresher. So I'm going to try and break it up and fit it on that bottom row. I've had to back off a bit because uh, the bees are getting a bit grumpy and one of them's decided to take a fence to me being sat too close to his home. So that's sting number three and four. But one thing we have got are the fairies again. I'm not sure if you can actually see that. I see the collection. So they call fairies, catkins. Look at this. <laughs> Sit on the pond. They settle on the pond and they drop in and sink. You can see them collecting together and I'll look into the sprinkler, into the skimmer. I'm going to collect it on here to be honest. And these were cleared at 8 o'clock this morning, it's now 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, in the front of the I see where they're coming from. I 
We'll have this for about another two weeks. So you can see him. On the roof. Collect all around the cobwebs. I hoovered this all last night, the cobwebs and everything. See them around the pond. And you can see him in the pond. Because I've come round here, you'll see the fish coming to the front. The side of the back of Sharon, the side of the pond, I've got the honeysuckle and clematis that I planted two years ago. And as you can see now, it's really well and truly grown. Probably a bit overgrown because I didn't clip it back during the, uh, for, uh, the spring or autumn of last season. You can see I've got the purple ones, the yellow ones will not be flowering for, for a while. Got this one here, that's a new one. And there's also one that's growing at the side there that's not going to flower for another couple of months. You'll see that in another video. That one's not quite ready to flower either. And that one's flowering. Of course, every garden should have one, or not. I'm just going to cut into the video at this stage and apologise that I'm not going to do the dechlorinator filter change because one, I haven't got uh, the, the right filters, they've not arrived yet, but secondly, I've had a slight issue with the Tempest. And I've been reading on a few of the groups on Facebook and on the uh, forums etc that a few other people have been having the same sort of issue. So I'm going to have a look at the, what the issue is, I'm going to have a look at trying to clear it, clean it, stop it and work it and if not I'm going to have to do a makeshift fix to get the clean because I'm having a slight issue and that is with the Evolution Aqua Tempest. If you check up here you can see a video of when I purchased it and installed it and if you sit back and follow me in a minute you'll see exactly what the problem is. There's a tempest. As you can see, I've noticed the last few days it's getting very cloudy and dirty. I've got some bio beads in there. But the problem I'm having is there's no air bubbling up and it's not agitating the leader. I've heard that there's been several issues with the air connection and not allowing air to uh, go up and agitate so I'll show you what happens. So close the top valve, close the bottom valve and open that. There's nothing there but what does happen is when that gets near to the bottom, yeah, it starts to run. By the time it does that, there's no water left in to agitate it. So, Colour there. Just cut down this one hand, isn't it? So what we've got there, as you can see, is a waste there, and this is just on a. Uh, Bit of tube with a locking nut at the back. Just going to take the locking nut off. So 
Take the locking nuts off the bottom there. A little washer there as well. And then if you pull. So what we've got is a locking nut. And they're locking up the washer and then that goes on there. And this is a one way valve. It'll go one way but won't go the other. So it's very simple but this seems to be failing. What I'm going to do is give this one a quick clean which is a spare quarantine tank. I'm going to give this a quick uh, clean then I'm going to swap the bottom unit for that one and see if it makes any difference. So first of all, let me see if I can do a quick change on this. Bear with me. And then open the valve. And straight away, that should be happening. That was a fantastic result. So once that's had a clean, in fact I might do it a couple of times, because it's uh, about five days since I last did it. And what I'm going to do is change this unit for that unit. And put that finish up in there. You can see the algae or fish poop or whatever it is on the inside of the tube. And that's one of the things I don't like about the Tempest. The flow rate is one of them. And once that's uh, dirty, it's a bit of a ball ache to try and give it a clean. I'm sure somebody will come up with a wonderful way of cleaning it. And if anybody knows it, drop in the comments below. That's interesting. Let's start this one. I think I know what the problem is. I think that is passing at the top and allowing some air to come back in. Unless we're not getting a vacuum. I think we need to open that valve up and give it a clean. That's the outlet. And that looks fine. I've disassembled the four bolts and I've got a fan. So what's happening when that slide valve is coming down and closing, it's not sealing in the seal. So a lot of people may mention this when building a bottom drain or anything like that. Do not use the slide valves, especially the Volterra ones, because the seals do fail after a bit and you end up passing. And this just proves the point. So I need to go at another one of these. Unfortunately, shop short. So I'm going to fit this back on, leave it open, and then get another one of these and swap it tomorrow. Let's see what that does. So I'm close that, close that, turn the pump off, rub the valve. You can hear the air sucking in through the valve. So that confirms that's the problem. So what I've done, I've got a new valve. The reason why I've got a new valve is if you open them up, what you have are two seals and the new sliding gate thing. I could have just bought two of these from Five Acre and fitted them as they seem to be damaged. But what I think is part of the problem is as well, the mat at the bottom of the slide, and I'll show you on the one I take out, is chafed as well, so that's allowing water to pass or air to pass or anything to pass. So I'm going to swap that one and then we'll try and see what happens afterwards. So I've fitted the valve back in there with the new rubbers and the new centrepiece. So what I am going to do now is, if I can do it single-handedly or one-handedly, turn the pump off, off, close the valve, close the valve, 
and open this. Job's a carrot. Out of their life. So on this occasion, nothing wrong with Evolution Aqua's one-way valve or the fact of the outlet was blocked in any way, shape or form. The fact of the Voltaire valves, once closed, were not causing a vacuum, allowing air in, water out. And that is now agitating and lowering a lot lower. As you can see the water in the dirt, you can see that, I can see it through the clear braided hose that that dirty water coming out. So I'm going to give that a couple of goes and then uh, see how we get on. So win-win. Don't forget anybody that's got any issues with these, you don't have to buy a complete valve. You can get rubbers for the end, and if you're not sure, give Andy a ring at Five Acre Quarry Supplies in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching the video, and as everybody knows that's got a koi pond or got a pond in general, that there's always something that keeps you on your toes. This time it was a learning curve with the Evolution Aqua Tempest. It wasn't cleaning properly, it wasn't allowing the air to uh, agitate the media and where I thought it was a one-way valve at the bottom not allowing the air into the vacuum it was in actual fact a slide valve at the top allowing the air to enter the chamber not creating a vacuum. Regarding the 2000 subscriber free prize giveaway keep an eye out for a video coming up shortly and all the details will be in there how to win one of two prizes. One of the prizes will be a remote Switchbox controller courtesy of Matsuko. The other one will be a bundle of goodies. And like I say, to be in it to win it, you need to be a subscriber. So please, if you're not already, hit the subscribe button, check out some more videos. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you've got any questions about anything in the video, please write them in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching the video. From a beautiful sunny afternoon in Chesterfield, covered in a flurry of catkins, fairies, seedlings, whatever you want to call them. Happy ponding.